Hey guys, welcome to Grace Dental Radio. Today we have a new episode. I am Dr. Diego Marquez. I'm Dr. Nestor Marquez. And today we have a very special guest. This guest is, this person is very straightforward, very straight, very well aligned, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. very well leveled, very well positioned. He likes to keep things in place. Straight. This is our orthodontic specialist, guys. Welcome, <laughs> Dr. Gilberto. Dr. Gilberto. I'm, I'm glad to be here, guys. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Also known as Dr. Hill. Yes, Dr. It Hill. like Hill. Like, what the hell? What the hell? What like the hell? Like, King of the Hill. Yep. So, guys, anyway. He'll get you straight. Get, yeah, <laughs> guys, get, let's get straight yeah. to the point. Yeah. Braces. Do you need braces? Yeah, you need braces. Why do you need braces? Sure. Do you see people, 45 year old people with braces, 50 year old people, 60 year old people with braces? 80 why do you need I have a patient from 80 years old. This patient. 80 years old and he got braces. Was in the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that, man. <laughs> well, yeah. So why? Why? Let's get straight to the point, Nestor. You, you know do, what? You do, yeah. you do implants. Yeah. I, patients I, with braces. I do implants with... Yeah. So that's a big topic. If, you, if you're needing dental implants and your teeth are not aligned, they need to be aligned first if you're going to get them aligned. You sure. Know? That's, that's, I think that's a big key point. Yeah. I'm always sending patients to Dr. Hill before getting an implant because what the hell what the hell doctor help the reason is implants don't move like teeth you know teeth have ligaments teeth can move in the bone implants are just welded basically to the bone so once an implant is integrated it's not moving you know that's this is an implant <laughs> and i can't push it i can't do anything now a tooth you see the difference right there the for me an implant is like an yeah, anchor. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So you can you can you use implants in in ortho? Sure. Ooh. I ha I I use a mini screw. Uh, it's yeah. a something different like an implant for, but it's important because sometimes I need a skeletal anchor. Wow, man, that's so great. So that's a a great tool for me. Now, are these implants? Uh, they're you're, you're talking about mini implants, but yeah. do those stay in the mouth f for how long, you know, like? Sometimes it's just for a few months. Uh, sometimes I need to use it uh, the whole treatment, so. Yeah, man. So so a lot of patients, guys, they don't like, game, they don't like, uh, they like implants. They don't like braces. Uh, the reality is, guys, you know, braces can take some time. Braces, oh, yeah. uh, sometimes patients don't like how they look, um, you know, having all this metal Sometimes not metal, but in your mouth for quite a while, you know? I mean, yeah. sure. Ortho sucks, man. That's the reality. Hey, of dude, no, no need for that. that. No I'm need for that. Man. I'm not going to say that, hey, man. man. I'm not, there's, no need, there's no need for that, man. I can be here. No, no hey, man, please. Um, please, man, please. Please. Yeah, calm down, guys. Calm down. Please. Unreal. Man. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. Dude. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I'm guys, good. this is... This is unprecedented, you know. Good, man. All right, so to change the topic, right. guys, let's calm down. Uh, I personally believe orthodontics are great. They're much needed. They are much needed. Yes, they take time. It's true. It's true, but I, I, the final result, final is... Exactly, is, like restorative dentistry definitely takes care of of, of, of crooked, crooked teeth, teeth man that that's yes, what i can yes. do. i but can do veneers man on crooked teeth i can do veneers it's beyond beyond you know sometimes the movements of your teeth are necessary yes sometimes you need to do a crossbite that restorative man if you do that the teeth are still not in position you can still have tmj problems like you guys need each other guys it's you like know what uh, man i i i gotta accept you right man I think guys, I'm, I'm so sorry, man, if I offended you. No I, I want to say no I, I do need you, and I think you need me also. Sure, sure. Yeah. Let's, uh, the let's, final result, uh, the only win is the patient. That's yep. true, guys. Yeah. I mean, I could also just pull all the teeth out and place implants. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really good, man. <laughs> let's wrap this up in a way where you explain to us what restorative dentistry can do for crooked teeth obviously there's a limit you know to to certain um to, to certain patients the bite the occlusion we call it occlusion the bite has to do a lot with um with how we're going to restore you know 
there's a certain limit. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. You want, you want one? Do we want one? <laughs> Dentist eat candy too. You can't really do miracles, you know, with veneers or with crowns, you know. So um, at certain points, you know, we do work together. Uh, there's patients where be wearing uh, ortho for maybe six months, eight months, a year. And, you know, we get them to a position where then we can step into restorative. That's right. You know, ceramic veneers. Um, and and we, we do work hand in hand a lot. I think, guys, um, you guys as patients, you guys need to be aware of that because um, what are the consequences of fixing only with restorative dentistry, fixing only with veneers when your bite is not in balance, when your bite is off or the inclination of teeth is off, you know, um, there is going to be a consequence. You're not going to see it right away. Right. You're going to see aesthetics. You're yeah. going to see the beauty of a smile. Yeah. But the function is not there. That's what you got to be careful with. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And that's function right there, my friend. This is function right here, man. Yeah. So, so in, in a nutshell, what Dr. Diego said is don't put a, a nice paint job over something that is rusted on the inside. You got to fix things from the inside, which would be make things straight. And then if you want to beautify them a little more, then go with something aesthetic like veneers or crowns. Now, I, I have a lot of patients. This is a question for Dr. Heal. Okay. I have a lot of patients that say, hey, man, I don't want ortho. I don't want to spend three, four years with braces. How long does do braces take? The average of uh, orthodontic treatment that we are talking about two years. Two years. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. It can be less or can be more than, than that two years, but that's an average. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think obviously, guys, you know, cases are different. You know, we do have patients who have braces for six months, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we fix what we have to fix and we're good to go. Uh, we do have patients with three, four years. Three years, I think, is the, is the most time that, that we have here in office. Right. Uh, but yeah, but sometimes... Very, very severe cases. Like yeah. Severe cases. Right. I got yeah. another question from a patient. Um, how? What's the minimum age? What's the minimum age for a patient? Okay, uh, sometimes uh, we can we can start to to see or evaluate patients uh, between the six, seven, eight, eight years. Wow, that's that's a young now, age, man. Uh, that's a orth orthopedic uh, treatment. Right, it's not like braces, braces, right? Yeah, we have the the orthodontic phase one. Right, to call well, it that's in super a, important. Now that's important, guys, because yeah. sometimes you can prevent like big things from going bad sure, man. At, a, at an early age. I've seen him do that with our patients before. Another question would be, you know, braces, do they make you lose bone? No, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Uh, sometimes uh, we can gain bone. Mm. Which yeah. is an actual advantage that we use. Uh, that's one of the reasons also why we have used Great braces, bone. you know. Yeah. So last mm -hmm. question, man. Um, what do you think about Invisalign? Clear aligners. Oh man, uh, Invisalign is top now. It's okay. top now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, the future, you think? It's the future. Future's now, old man. And the future is here now. So yes. And are we, we doing this at Grace Dental? Yeah. Yeah, sure. we have clear aligners, guys. It's a big thing for this podcast. Like people need to know this. We're doing clear aligners now. We have a few cases that are just beautifully advancing so guys if you follow our page you'll know that we have a scanner this scanner allows us to you know take an impression a digital impression of the patient yeah. and we just basically send all that information to so uh, modern man. invisalign yeah. and we now get those uh clear liners pretty quick yeah this is uh this is very modern this is something that we we're, we like you know obviously the, the process is very easy uh, we scan the patient and after that we have a, a appointment we call clean check yeah. in that appointment we can see uh, a preview of the wow. of the treatment I love that. and the and the patient can see how uh, the patient is gonna end up and, and he can see the new smile in, oh, wow. in the, like in the before it all yeah. gets in, in his own face. It's a, it's a great tool. That's right. That's digital dentistry, guys, and we're we're yeah. we're on board. 
Yes. I love it. Anyways, yes. guys, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys, I hope we were bad enough actors so that you got, that was all just <laughs> acted. We love each other. There's no fighting ever, you know. Yeah. We actually do work together. We do hand very in well. Hand. And we love orthodontics. So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. We'll see you later. Don't eat that many candy. If you do, bye, see bye. Us. Dr. Hill out. Yeah, Dr. Hill.